Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Paul McPherson, and I head up uh, Premier Inn International based out of Dubai. As Andy mentioned earlier, Whitbread has a great opportunity to take our leading UK brand, Premier Inn, into the international arena. Our asset light strategy focuses on six high growth emerging markets which have both strong business and leisure demand. The Premier Inter International journey started in 2008. Since then, Whitbread has been establishing the brand through building hotels in India and the Middle East. We are transitioning from a capital intensive or asset heavy strategy to an asset light strategy wherein our primary objective is to manage Premier Inn hotels for third party developers where Whitbread's financial commitment is small or zero. Today we own and manage six hotels internationally, four in the UAE and two in India. Our 2018 milestones is, milestone is to have 50 Premier Inns or circa 10,000 rooms in these emerging markets. In 2008, we opened our first international hotel in Dubai. 2009 saw the opening of the first Premier Inn in India in Bangalore. I joined Whitbread in 2011, at which time we revised our international strategy from asset heavy to asset light. And over the last two years, we've been building a small executive team based in Dubai. In July 2012, we opened our Asia Pacific office in Singapore, which to this point is concentrating primarily on development. To build a profitable growth platform, we're focusing on building scale in six markets, being India, the GCC, and Southeast Asia, namely Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia, and Thailand. These emerging markets have strong continued economic growth, fragmented competition from both international and domestic brands, growing budget sector hotels with the five and four star sectors having already largely been established and burgeoning business and tourism travel. Morphing to asset light within these markets is providing faster pace to build a network of hotels within the six markets, lower investment where partners build our hotels, and lower investment risk with the plan to have the majority of Premier Inns internationally as management contracts without investment. And it provides us greater access to third party developers. We have offices in Dubai, Delhi, and Singapore to develop the Premier Inn network and to oversee the management and operations. The executive, on average, have over 20 years of experience in the hotel industry with leading international hotel companies. Both of our regional heads of operations come from Premier Inn UK, bringing the highly valued DNA to Premier International. Premier Inn UK provides an excellent platform from which we will grow our international operations. Three fundamental elements of Premier, Premier Inn set it apart from its competition. Firstly, Premier Inn is the number one UK brand in the budget sector and, and Whitbread is a single sector hotel company unlike most other major hotel companies globally. Secondly, managing and also owning over 650 hotels illustrates directly to third party developers a true alignment of understanding hotel ownership, with a key, which is a key differentiator to our competition. Finally, the superior brand product, great value, and operational excellence is backed by Premier Inn's good night guarantee. A guarantee that very, very few competitors are confident enough to offer to their guests. The table on this slide shows our six hotels open comprising almost 1,300 keys. Our committed pipeline includes 12 hotels and 1,800 guest rooms consisting of four owned, hotel, owned hotels under construction, two joint venture premier inns, 
and six management contracts with third party owners. Investment in premier ends in key cities within the six markets is important to the asset light strategy. The limited number of asset heavy hotels provides the presence, the commitment, and the brand exposure required to build scale. After a year of having a small development team in place, we have signed 14 MOUs, totaling approximately 3,000 3, rooms. 13 of those 14 are asset light. In the UAE, good GDP and disposable income growth is projected over the coming years. Combined with continued strong investment in travel and tourism over the next decade. We continue to make good progress with our four hotels in the Middle East with the business now profitable. Our guests who stay in our hotels in the UAE comprise of an even split of one third from the UK, the vast majority who know the brand, one third from other countries, some of who know the brand, and the other third from the GCC. Our joint venture partner, Emirates Group, has invested in our four existing hotels and two that are under construction in Abu Dhabi and Doha. Emirates Group is a burgeoning company with non-airline activities that match the level of airline business volume. Dubai is expected to become the world's busiest airport next year due largely to Emirates Group continued growth. It's very good timing to be entering the budget sector in the Middle East, given it is underrepresented by international and domestic competitors, matched by a growing budget hotel sector. The competitive environment remains largely fragmented, with the main international competitors within the UAE, UAE being Ibis and Holiday and Express. These brands are part of companies that do not have the single sector focus like Premier Inn, which is so appealing to third party developers. Local competition is restricted to Rotana's central brand with CityMax, a secondary competitor. For India, the story is about the size of the market with a population of 1.2 billion, complemented by projected GDP growth of 6.5% over the next five years. Disposable income growth should continue at pace, increasing 8% per annum over the near future, and travel and tourism expenditure is expected to escalate at an annual double-digit level over the next decade. The guest profile is understand understandably primarily domestic, but supported by regional and international guests. We have focused on establishing a small network of owned hotels in the key tier one cities from which to build scale. We have operating hotels in Delhi and Bangalore, with premier inns under construction in Pune, Goa, as well as Chennai. With a third party management agreement we hope to sign so soon in South Mumbai, this will complete our representation in each of the key cities in the country, providing us with a solid platform for asset light growth. It's early days for international budget hotel brands in India, with Ibis having established a presence, country ends being the leader, but with franchised hotels that could well compromise their brand, and Holiday and Express having entered last year. There's also a number of local brands in India which have established a presence the attractiveness being the size of the market. It's early days in our journey, but with our two existing hotels, three under construction, and the third party management agreement we hope to sign soon, we are establishing a presence in the key cities of one of the world's fastest growing economies. Southeast Asia has a population of over 350 million people and has seen very robust growth in disposable income over the past five years, escalating between 12 and 16% per annum. The region is expected to see strong direct travel and tourism spend over the next decade, ranging from five to 10% per year. 
The burgeoning budget airline industry is transporting an ever-increasing number of those 350 people living in the region to neighboring countries for both business and pleasure. Inbound travel from countries like Japan, the UK, and India is increasing rapidly and at explosive levels from China with 65 million visitors in total. Again, for this region, it is great timing for Premier Inn to enter given the budget hotel market is fragmented with limited international budget brand presence. Southeast Asia with its four interconnected economies provides us with an excellent opportunity. IBIS is progressing, the country in, and Holiday Inn Express having entered last year. There is a limited number of local competitors, one of which, none of which have a significant position. We're off to a good start with five confirmed hotels and eight MOUs having been signed in the last year. By 2018, the plan is to have 4,300 mature rooms and 5,700 new rooms. We anticipate that half of the circa 10,000 rooms will be owned and the other half managed for third party developers. Hotels typically mature over three to four years and we therefore expect our mature hotels will be delivering double digit Rockies by 2018, proving the success of the brand internationally. So in summary, we're transitioning from an asset light strategy and a small number of promising markets that are showing traction after our first year. <coughs> Premier Inn International now has a great executive team in place with decades of hotel as well as international experience. We're highly focused on a single sector of the industry with a world-class brand. We have and will continue to lever off Premier, Inn, Premier Inn's UK excellent business. Premier Inn is achieving growing occupancy and is profitable in the UAE. Finally, we have a growing pipeline and significant third party developer interest in Premier Inn after a year of concerted effort in our asset light development push. I will now hand the proceedings back to Andy for a question and answer session.